Okay, so uh, here we need to integrate the function, which is sine inverse root x minus cos inverse root x divided by sine inverse root x plus cos inverse root x into dx and where x is x belongs to 0 to 1. So now uh, we know that we know that sine inverse root x plus cos inverse root x that is equals to pi by 2. So this integral, let's call this integral as i. So this integral i can be written as integral. This is sine inverse root x minus this cos inverse root x can be written as pi by 2 minus sine inverse root x by this will be pi by 2 into dx. Okay. So therefore, this integral i can be written as integral uh, this will be 2 by pi into this will be 2 sine inverse root x minus pi by 2. into dx. So this will be equal to uh, 4 by pi integrals uh, sine inverse root x dx then minus integral dx. So this will be 4 by pi integral sine inverse root x dx plus x sorry integral dx is x. So this will be minus x plus c. So now we need to find this integral. Let's call this and this as the integral i1. So which is sine inverse root x dx. So now here, here if we put, if we put sine inverse root x that is equal to theta, then root x will be equal to sine theta and x will be equal to sine squared theta. So therefore, dx will be equal to 2 sine theta into cos theta d theta. It means it will be sine 2 theta d theta. So this integral can be written as integral theta into sine 2 theta, sine 2 theta d theta. Now here we have to use the integration by parts. Um, it means we have to use the eyelet rule to choose the first function and the second function. So we know that so we know that the integral integral uh, yeah so now we have to use the eyelet rule. Eyelet rule means inverse logarithmic algebraic trigonometric exponential. So here we have algebraic and trigonometric function. So we have to choose the algebraic as the first function. This one is first function and this one is second function. So this will be equal to theta into integral sine to theta d theta minus integral d theta by d theta into integral sine to theta d theta whole integral d theta. So this will be equal to theta into integral sine theta, sin theta is minus cos theta. So this will be minus cos 2 theta by 2. Then d theta and d theta will cancel. This will be minus integral. This will be minus cos 2 theta by 2 into d theta. So this will be equal to minus theta by 2 into cos 2 theta. Then minus of minus is plus, plus 1 by 2 integral cos 2 theta d theta. So this will be equal to minus theta by 2 into cos 2 theta plus 1 by 2 into integral cos theta is <coughs> sin theta. <coughs> integral cos theta is sin theta. So this will be into sin 2 theta by 2 plus c. So therefore the integral, therefore the integral i1 that is um, minus theta by 2 into cos 2 theta 
then plus 1 by 4 into sin 2 theta plus c. So theta is equal to theta is sin inverse root x. So sin theta is root x. So here theta is sin inverse root x. So sin theta equal to root x. So cos theta will be root over 1 minus sin square theta, which is 1 minus x, root over 1 minus x. So therefore sin 2 theta, that will be equal to 2 root x into 1 minus root x. Or you can write 2 into root over x minus x square. And cos 2 theta, that will be equal to 2 sin square we can write it as 1 minus 2 sin square theta. So this will be equal to 1. So sin square theta is x. So it will be 1 minus 2x. So this integral will be minus 1 by 2 into sin inverse root x into cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2x and plus 1 by 4 into sin 2 theta, that will be 2 into root over x minus x square plus c. So therefore, this 2 to the 4, so this is 1 by 2 root over x minus x square, and this is minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 2x into sine inverse root x plus c. So now, therefore, the final answer, which is i, i is actually 4 by pi i1 minus x plus c. So it will be 4, 4 by pi into i1 minus x plus c. So it will be 4 by pi into i1. So it will be 1 by 2 into root over 1 x minus x square then minus 1 by 2 into 1 minus 2 x into sine inverse root x then four by pi i1 minus x plus c so therefore the final answer is 2 by pi root over x minus x square minus 2 by pi into 1 minus 2x into sine inverse root x minus x plus c. So this is the final answer. Thank you.